had lots and lots of meetings with companies, much bigger companies that have got a bigger network, especially in the South East or London where I'm operating from. Um, but the biggest thing that jumped out was the personality of, of Redstones really compared to um, other businesses. Um, as I said, there's bigger businesses out there, bigger networks, but um, what I felt was there wasn't that support network. And that doesn't come from the size of the company, that just comes from the personality, from anyone who works for the business. Um, from talking to people that have already got a, um, a Redstones franchise. They were so open to talk to, so interesting to find out about you know, the good and the bad bits. Um, whereas some of the larger companies that I spoke to, you know, some of the franchise owners uh, yeah, were very difficult to speak with. You know, it was a very negative experience. In, you know, it's a hard business, it's not, all, um, it's not all easy, but I just found the personality and the fit w was right for me to make that jump. It was um, very apparent that what the others lacked was um, the personal touch. They were uh, big chains of, of businesses, you were another number to them um, and the power was clearly in their court um, not in it. it came across as though it was a, a full interview process and they would let you know that kind of that kind of so it wasn't a two-way situation um, which Redstones clearly was. I come from a background of uh, sort of compliance and um, what I liked about Redstones was that they were in independent um, I found them very, very easy to talk to. Straightforward, simple responses, you know, not elongated answers or bashing me with science and all, oh, you must do this or you must do that as a landlord. It was very simple, very concise. They answered all the questions in the way I wanted um, or, you know, would, would like to hear from a, a qualified agent. And ultimately, that's what they were. They were qualified, they were regulated, they were members of, of bodies that. You know, you need assurances, whether you're buying into a franchisee or even as a landlord, that you're working with a compliant and regulated um, agent. And that's really where they just ticked an awful lot of boxes. One of the biggest things about Redstone is you get a, a nice big territory to deal with. Although to start with, obviously, um, you know, I want to try and dominate a single area within that territory and then grow. Um, down the line, I have visions of three or four shops in three or four different areas. Um, but at the moment it's all about finding my base in my local area, becoming an expert in that area, getting a decent reputation of, of very knowledgeable in property, property both lettings and sales. And from that in year two or year three, you know, get a shop front, build on the staff um, and, and then become the biggest agent in the area. What I love the most now is it's really putting a, might sound a little bit corny but basically a smile on landlords' faces because they're comfortable that they're working with somebody, an organisation, whether it's me as an individual, whether people buy from people, whether it's they see me as Redstones, um, or, you know, it doesn't really matter that they, they trust what we do, that we do things for the right reasons, what we do is correct, and we do, and we follow strict guidelines. And I just love it when you finish on a property, they send a landlord pack, and they just go, wow, they've, they've never seen anything like this before. And we, that is the feedback Redstones Wolverhampton receive. And we also get positive feedback from tenants as well, saying, wow, they've never seen these sort of processes, the attention to detail for inventories, um, schedule of conditions, um, the way we even scan our keys in. Um, so the landlord knows, you know, the sets of keys that have been handed over and the tenants have signed for that. Just that minute attention to detail from what I hear, no other agents do that. I love the fact that we're in control of where we go from here. Um, and the effort we put in is not, you know, it's not lost. Uh, you're putting effort in and you're, you're investing in your own future. Uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, that's why I made the decision to, to go into um, self-employment from employment. Uh, that's why I chose Redstones because I wanted to be able to um, move with Redstones over the course. We were one of the earlier franchisees um, and felt that we had something to offer the franchise as well to grow with it um, rather than just here's the package, off you go. I mean the biggest thing is always having manager or one of the team on the end of the phone. You know any time of the day you know, I will pick up the phone and ask the question. 
as I said, my background wasn't property, I'm, I've had to learn farms. With Redstones, I have found, from my experience again, it's, it's not a numbers game. It's not about getting people on board, etc. and you must have X amount of properties after this amount of time, otherwise you're not performing. It's just not like, like that at all. It's a family, and therefore, my only advice would be don't ever think the biggest is the best. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to where we go from here.